Hey everyone, I'm Arier, and this is what exactly Battleship Mayhem is. It's a new way to look at PvP in the Crucible. You go into Destiny, and you have the private matches all set up to start with. And this ma this is an entire mode that can only exist in the private matches. First off, this is the most fun you can do with 12 people. Six on one team, six on the other. But everybody has to be on the same page. And I've actually been doing this in my streams in the mornings pretty frequently the last few days, and it, it's a blast. It truly is a blast. But let's get down into this details. First off, to do it, to start with Battleship, specifically Mayhem, Battleship, or Battleship Mayhem, take your pick, nothing to do with the terrible movie of the same name, you want to go into the Crucible and set up a private match. Now, the game really does depend on what type of map you choose. First off, you're going to want to set it to... Here we go, Mayhem Clash. And then go over here and choose one of these options. Now normally the easiest one to go for is the one this is first created on, Sector 618. The entire point is to go into the map, and here, let's launch it up. You want to jump into the map and divide the team on two sections. Make sure everyone is aware of which section is theirs. In this map in particular, you have the lower platform and the upper platform. And anyone can stand on the platforms so long as they stay up there. There's no running around, there's no sniping, there's no guns. You don't shoot. You don't throw, you don't, you know, throw heavy, shoot heavy. You don't slash with a sword. You don't melee. You just have your supers and you have grenades. And technically you can do the melee attacks if they have range, but short of hunters, and only one type of hunter at that, it, it's kind of useless. It's basically a battle of light. You run in, and you just start lobbing grenades. You lob your supers. You, If you're a hunter, you lob your melee shot. It, it's a thing. And you just go to town. Now to start with, though, you have to make sure everyone knows where Alpha is going and where Bravo is going. Communication is key in this, because if you don't and both people meet at the same area, it quickly throws off the game. For this mode to be successful, though, you want to run in, take the side. This would usually be where Alpha starts, and over there, as you can see, this is where Bravo would start, right up at the upper end. Now, that could change based on your preference, so take your pick. Now, what makes this game so interesting, though, is that it is entirely based around doing this. Finding how far that shot goes, tracking it, seeing where it lands, and then readjusting your aim once you're hit your bar is full again. So you want to make sure you have the full stats and then seeing if you can just make it right. Because these things have pretty good range. Now sometimes you need to jump up, fire it off, and see where it goes. This one though would not have hit because it got stuck on the ceiling. Those bars were there. What makes this game interesting isn't just shooting at the enemy. It's planning the trajectories, weighing your options, and making it through to hit the enemy at the same time. It's actually quite difficult, but very fun, because while you're doing this, people are going to be laying down grenade after grenade after grenade, and oh, hey, there's one of the little drones in there. Oh, oh what do you know? I never noticed that. And it will just be madness, because this entire area will be burning. There will be smoke. There will be void walls. There will be solar grains. There will be vortex grenades. There will be, okay, probably a lot of Shinobu Vow enhanced skip grenades, because those things are bullshit, and they're everywhere. And that's not even talking about the hammers you're going to be throwing down, the tethers that will drag out your supers the second you caught them. The Nova Bombs going off in every little section you could possibly grab. Ooh, hey, there's a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, squirrel moment. And it will be non-stop. And it will kill you if you take a second to just get your breath. And it is glorious. Because you can just do all this shit. Now, there is one addendum you have to remember to this. Because not everyone's always on the same page, make sure to pick up heavy, equip a rocket launcher, and whenever someone's a dick and they run around and they decide to start shooting, butcher them with rockets and mass. Just annihilate them because they are completely cheating and they know what they're doing. If they jump into a battleship match and they run around shooting you in a private match, you have all the right to completely wipe the floor with them in the most embarrassing way possible. And you need to make it hurt. It's a requirement. 
Now, the really fun part about this though, is all the different ways you can try and optimize your build. I've seen a few people go for the Hunter 4 Grenade build, which would be Voidwalker with Smoke and also the Void Wall. With Felwinters to give double grenades that throw fast, so you're basically laying down no-go zones that if anyone tries to get at you, they die. The best way to use them is to just make it so that wherever they need to go to kill you is the best place to snipe at you. So if they have to hit you, they have to go through the smoke. It's just a nice little way to play the strategy. And that's what makes this interesting. It's a lot more strategic than people think because you actually have to watch where your enemy is throwing from because oftentimes you can never see your enemy. You're basing your throws off what you see them coming at. So you have to be not just paying attention to where you're throwing, but what's getting towards you, what's hitting you, how it's hitting you. There are so many different ways this could go wrong, but it, there are so many ways it's insane and it goes right. I cannot downplay or underplay this thing because it is just fun. You need to try this. And if you want an example, I do a live stream almost every day and lately I've been sticking to Mayhem Clash Battleship because it is fun. I've tried other variants. I've tried the infect modes. It does not work out. It, it, it's a complete failure to infect, but this, it works. I've even made it work on, and I can't believe this actually turned out well. Like literally that there was no excuse for this. And where was it? Ah, here we go. Crossroads. This map, it worked. That gorge in the center, you can make it. It takes a lot of aim. You gotta jump really high up to do it. And it gives Golden Guns a huge incentive, but you could do it there. The Drifter, this one is bullshit because it's just the two sides on heavy ammo and heavy ammo, but it's bullshit and it works. The Dungeons, let's be honest, it's the same thing you do anyways. You go to the sides exactly where this heavy ammo is shown in the picture and you just lob things. It, it, it's pretty much exactly what happens in the regular map actually. Exodus Blue, haven't done it here yet, but I'd be willing to try it. The hard part though is making sure everyone's on the team to figure out where the fight zone is. In this one, it's definitely at the doors. Yeah, as long as everyone's standing them, you keep lobbing things through it on the inside. And the barrier in the center is the one thing hanging from the ceiling. A really fun one, actually. Let's see, where is it? Ah, Frontier. That train bridge right in the center is a great divide, and you go heavy and heavy, and you just go to town lobbing and trajectorizing. Yeah, that's where word, trajectorizing. Yeah. It's centrifugal kick. Yeah. I'm a warlock. I respect words I don't understand. It's a thing. Just, all these different maps have little areas where you can do this. But again, the hard part is making sure everyone's on the same page right away. So you need a 12-person fire team to do this in private. That's not something everyone can do. But if you have the friends to do it, do it. Do it, please do it. Dear God, do it. And we're going to make this a thing. So if you like this video, if you think Battleship Clash, Battleship Mayhem is one of the most insane things you can imagine. Well, the hashtag is Battleship Mayhem. Use it on Twitter, I'm already using it. Someone has been, actually, I'm not even the first to use it. I was told to use it, and I'm using it because I'm honestly terrible at naming things. Do you honestly think if I was good at naming it, I would call it Battleship Mayhem? But it works, and it's a great idea, and it's fun. It truly is fun. And that's what makes this game great, because you can do this kind of shit. Yeah, so all the same, everyone, just do this. And if you can, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as much as I hate to say, because of how YouTube makes this work, just watch the video all the way through and then just go watch it again. Just let it play through. Because that makes YouTube say, hmm, this is a good idea. We need to show it to everyone. So the best thing you could do is to just hit that, you know, refresh button when it's done. Because that's telling YouTube we need to show other people. And it shows other people. Sharing with people is nice, but if you just hit that refresh button, it will tell YouTube to show it to other people. It's a stupid way to do it personally, but it's how the site's set up right now. I have my issues with it and I'll cover them later, but that's how it works. So all the same. Also, by the time this video comes out, there's gonna be a new button down here. It's not gonna say subscribe anymore. It's gonna say delete the internet. And Shy, thank you so much for that button because it is fucking awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and all the same, I really hope this recorded. That would really suck if it didn't. Like, like a lot. Well, live and learn. So all the same, thanks for watching everyone and see you in the morning when we do the actual Battleship Mayhem in person. Yeah, for everyone wondering, yeah, it's 8 o'clock every morning up Eastern, so yeah, jump in. There's a fire team's always open and 
let's just go kill things. That 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 sounds psychotic, actually. Let's not kill things. Let's blow them up. That that didn't sound any better. I'm just gonna stop. Thanks for watching, everyone. Later.